A really long day of a mass evacuation that took place right here behind me in the neighborhoods. A few inches of water where I stand, up to six and seven feet deep when you get back into the neighborhoods. Homes are underwater. But this, interestingly enough, was an effort that was not led by the professionals. This today was led by ordinary people who ended up doing some really extraordinary things. He said it's really he said bad. It's really it's bad. For endless hours today, people were plucked from the fast-rising waters of the Attic's Reservoir. A constant parade of trucks and boats, everyone loaded with people who left in a hurry. The home has about four, five feet of water in there. That was the same story for Jesse Medina, who narrowed down what's important to him to two garbage bags and the people who were standing next to him. I feel bad. I feel bad for, you know, more for my, for my family. My little kids, my, I have two, three, three, three little boys, and, and, and I feel bad. Those rescued ranged from the young to the old. But nothing grabbed your heart more than the moment this 90-year-old bedridden grandmother was rescued from her already flooded home. All right, get two people on either side of us, that way she can face the home. Yet another life saved by the compassion of complete strangers. It was amazing to watch unfold today. Ken and Kaylee, it's amazing that in the worst of times, we find out who's there for us, and in this case, all day long, complete strangers.